I'm here on the border where people are sneaking across, desperate to escape a country where they don't even feel safe anymore. But what if I told you that country was America? Right? This part's America? That's right, last year over 20,000 people illegally snuck out of America and into Canada. It started when Trump began revoking temporary protected status for hundreds of thousands of immigrants. The Trump administration has so far announced it would also end this temporary status for migrants from Honduras, Nicaragua, and Haiti. All of this, not to mention Trump's feelings about immigrants in general. Are they ISIS? Is this a Trojan horse? Has prompted a new wave of refugees seeking asylum in Canada, where their king in the north, Prime Minister Jon Snow, is all like... You're safe at home now. 90% of asylum seekers are crossing along a small section of the border, about 25 miles north of the town of Plattsburgh. So I headed there to meet a local coyote. My contact told me to meet him here. I gave him the code name She-Wolf Blitzer. Are you Daisy? Hmm? Desi, yeah. Once we got our bad Tinder date out of the way, I learned that Bill is a cab driver here in Plattsburgh, and it's the cab drivers who ferry the refugees to the border. It's gotten so busy that even party shuttles have converted into migrant caravans, taking all these people right up to the border of Canada. You know, if mayonnaise was a country. Well, what the hell? America's the country where people sneak into, right? Yes, because we're the American dream. Everybody we're the wants American to do dream. It. I mean, look at all this food. I I can, this Crazy. starts one person. Well, the American dream is still there, but you gotta do it by the process the way it's supposed to be done. And that should go for the US and for the Canada. If I want somebody to come into my house, I want them to come through the front door, mm -hmm. not through the back door. Mm -hmm. That's what I keep telling my husband. Yeah, well, there you go. Except his birthday. Except his birthday? Yeah, well, and Christmas. Day. And Flag Day, ugh. I'll never forget Flag Day. What were we talking about? The, right, you want them to go through the front, front door. Yeah. But these people can't go through the front door. Because of a quirk in Canadian law, if you cross at any official border crossing, your asylum claim will be rejected faster than a dick pic on LinkedIn. That's why asylum seekers are crossing the US-Canada border at an illegal entry point on a dead end road, where Bill and I were headed. Wow, this really is like a bad Tinder date. We are turning onto the Roxanne Road right here. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Why would anyone want to leave this? Okay, not exactly this stretch of America. And right at the end of this road is where they cross. Is that Toronto up there? No, it's not Toronto. That's the Canadian base. Before Trump, this was wilderness. But due to the flood of immigrants at this illegal entry point, the Canadians have built up a permanent presence, which includes the world's largest birdhouse. Between 70 to 80 asylum seekers arrive every day, ready to cross with everything they can carry. On the other side, the Canadian police are standing their ground. This is not a legal port of entry to Canada. If you want to enter Canada, you have to Please go through Canadian you. customs. But then like typical Canadians, they let them in anyway. I spoke with Armstrong, an asylum seeker fleeing northeast Nigeria where terrorist groups like Boko Haram are active. Well, the northeast Nigeria is terrible right now. It's too much for us to be here. And for my daughter especially, I want her to grow, feel safe, not to face the kind of persecution she's facing down there. But Armstrong was already in America. Why not claim refugee status here? America is a great country. But... But with the way things are right now, we need a better life for ourselves. A better life? I remember when people used to say that about us. And you're hoping for better things in Canada. Yeah, Canada is an opportunity. Opportunity? We used to be the land of that. That's our brand. City on a hill, land of the free. Is Canada taking our place? As I watched Armstrong walk away, I thought about all we had been through these past 15 seconds. And I realized he wasn't just going to Canada. He was breaking up with America. Well, we've just been dumped. If there's one thing I know, it's how to handle being dumped. You know what? Yeah, it's not working out. I decided first before you decided. Say what? Talking to him. I spent all day trying to convince people to stay. Any chance we can have a do-over? What if Oprah were president? Are all these people really choosing America's boring cousin? I don't think they're coming back. Maybe we should be reflecting or trying to grow from this. Or we can just handle it like any breakup. Seriously?
really? Canada? Ugh. Look, Moeller's closing in. We're going to change. I hope you're happy together. Only one person could pick me back up. Which is because Canada's younger than us? We're still America. We still got it going on. We are the bomb. <laughs> don't say things like that, Bill. Yeah, I know. It makes it seem like we don't have it going on. <laughs>